सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम स्नेहा अ सेकेंड एम बी एस सी नर्सिंग स्टूडेंट एट रामाया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नर्सिंग एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड फिट एंड फाइन सो आर यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम पास्ट जस्ट थ्री वीक्स बिफोर एंड पोस्टिंग द क्वेश्चन पेपर द शॉर्ट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर्स एंड हाउ टू सी द रिजल्ट स्कीम एंड नाउ आई थिंक आई एम इन टू सेकेंड ईयर ऑफिशियली सो आई थिंक दैट आई कैन गिव यू सम सजेशंस how to study in first year i hope it will be helpful so let's first see what were the books given by our college so for anatomy pr ashalot and g deepa book was given to us for nutrition uh, sir darshan chohi was given to us for physiology sir venkatesh sir's book medical physiology was given then for biochemistry uh, satyanarayan's uh, and for microbiology cp babeja was given lastly for uh, the fundamentals of nursing porter and perry was given for theory part and for the practical part anama jacob was given for psychology uh, bhatia and craigs and edited by karobi das so here i am giving the overall view of what is inside the book actually uh, now i will give uh, what how to study this subjects means just my opinion as i am a senior i am i will try my best to help you all out hope it will be good so stay tuned with me till end so first thing for anatomy for anatomy three things are most required diagrams concepts points among these three the most priority should be given to the diagrams after that the concepts and then the points uh, in anatomy the most important thing that should be referred is college notes in rgvhs uh, and that college no from that college no you can get the diagrams from that which the college teachers give and even from the youtube and other various other sources which you can uh, find helpful uh, youtube is the most reliable source you can refer to I pray I personally refer to a channel that is Charles's Medical uh, YouTube channel. The link is in description. All should not take anatomy as a theory aspect. You should always refer to the clinical aspect on the basis of the theory aspect. This will lead your concepts more clearer. For example, you are studying muscle. You should uh, while studying deltoid muscle, you should you should learn its clinical application. It is used for the IM injection. then uh, as what are the what are the other muscles used for the im injection you should always think about it, make notes on that like that for uh, another example that i may give is um suppose you are studying uh, respiratory system respiratory system uh, you are studying that uh, how uh, wh- what is what is the tidal volume you can uh, you can refer to uh, in what cases tidal volume increases in what cases tidal volume decreases and may refer to it as a clinical aspect and a theory aspect that will make your concepts further more easier right now for physiology uh we are given only one book as i showed earlier p r ashalota for anatomy and physiology in one book uh, anatomy and physiology should be read simultaneously because whatever the chapters are in uh, anatomy they are equivalent to the phys- biochemistry is all about metabolic cycles then lab requirements and what are the for example insulin is what is the normal what happens when insulin is not secreted in proper amount in our body diabetes mellitus what are the types of diabetes mellitus what is glucose tolerance test then uh, what are the what are the normal values of the sodium potassium calcium in our body then after that comes the enzymes what are the enzymes to be studied uh, means if you are studying for the university exam you should refer question bank which is available online in any 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 website if you require the um, link tell me in the comment box and i will give you that uh after so for psychology 
psychology i think is a pretty interesting subject which you may not be bored even to study i personally liked persa that personality chapter pictures are very important in the university not on not only for the university exam but also for clearing your concept as i told for anatomy diagrams are the most important thing because diagrams will let you know where are the muscles where are the these bones where are these means um where is the cerebrum located where uh, through the diagrams you can also make your hand clearer of the of your in your in your body where is that part located and what is the relation of that to the disease means that, that will you relate to the msn in the second year that is and uh, that i am not talking about it now other other chapters which are there for example motivation emotion stress and what is 2000 years later Huh. biological uh, and body and the mind relationship and uh, vulnerable people etc you should read that based how it is taught taught in college and if it is not taught in college read by yourself you will find it interesting if in motivation for example there are two parts motives and motivation what are the types of motives they they are classified how they are classified means what is the motivation cycle means uh, suppose i i am i am motivated okay Now, how is the motivation ar- aroused in me for example i am feeling that i should work towards that goal okay the need aroused after that uh, i felt that i should i should work towards that i should work towards that goal drive aroused uh, need to drive drive to instrumental behavior means i work towards that after instrumental behavior i reached towards the goal after go after the goal is achieved i got relief and after a certain period of relief i again the need aroused okay like this you should study by making picture pictorial diagram so now for microbiology i personally felt that it is the most challenging subject in first year though not difficult subject so in microbiology you should give the give most priority to that systemic bacteriology virology parasitology mycology systemic bacteriology systemic bacteriology how you should study is that you should uh, read how is it written sequence wise in the book a book is the only source from where you can get the right information right um a youtube is also there but it is required in certain cases when you cannot understand the topic or the topic is not covered in the college or like that for microbiology notes is not that much important why i am telling that at the end you will see that <laughs> you will not refer to notes uh, though some may refer to it i didn't refer notes uh, for my for microbiology at least uh, for uh, microbiology you should make your own pictorial diagram for example Staphylococcus aureus. Let's suppose, for example, uh, for first thing is that we should write is that morphology. What is that? Uh, gram, gram positive. Then after that, non motel point wise scale. After that, what is? I forgot. As I <laughs> second year. Okay. Uh, so in culture, after that, in culture, what are the culture medium used for? Uh, for example, uh, for liquid uh, glu- liquid medium glucose broth, how it appears? For example, in the granular turbidity like that, biochemical reactions one, two, three points means what are the? It ferments glucose. Why not sugar? It's uh, glucose by releasing gas like that. Uh, then after that, what comes is that uh, the labor after the after up to this uh, and then whatever the question demands, you should write up to that much only. For example, laboratory diagnosis. laboratory diagnosis is common in most of the bacteria first comes that specimen for example if it is a respiratory infection we should collect the sputum okay if it is a food poisoning we should collect the feces or the vomit like that after that comes the species collection it should, for example it should be normal it should be collected under all, under all the aseptic condition like that 37 degrees celsius and as you all know 24 to 48 degree celsius is a range and 37 degrees celsius is the optimum temperature and the ph which should be used is a 7.4 to 7.6 like that you should write up to that and for fundamentals which is my favorite subject for so fundamentals is the most easiest subject which i can say in one word uh, because uh, as you are going to clinicals 
and you can refer you can whatever you're doing the works there you can you can totally relate what you are what you have studied in the uh, book okay so you can get a book picture as well as a clinical picture and as a result your clinicals will be far more clear uh, so uh, you should uh, for example i personally i personally liked one chapter that is meeting the needs of a patient and among that the bed sore area bed, uh, the, the management of the bed sore which was one of the important questions in that uh, in that unit uh, and one more chapter which i liked is no in that chapter only one more topic i liked that is that uh, oxygenation chapter you, uh, you may also find it interesting if you will relate it to the clinical aspect okay uh, fundamentals is not uh, not to be to get worried of you can easily pass in that subject in university